our country is not going to get past this Brexit mess and so we get rid of all the opinions and feelings and just look at the facts. So I'm going to state some facts for you right now. In 2016, 51.9% of voters voted to leave the European Union. Our government then started the process of leaving the European Union by triggering Article 50. Article 50 is a piece of law inside the EU treaties, the treaties that create the European Union. So what does Article 50 say? Article 50 says, any member state may decide to withdraw from the European Union. And then we had two years to negotiate a withdrawal agreement. But unfortunately, many people are saying that that withdrawal agreement isn't what people voted for, which is why we have to get down to the facts again. What Article 50 goes on to say is, the treaties shall cease to apply to the state in question from the date of entry into force of the withdrawal agreement, or failing that, two years after the notification referred to in paragraph two. Now, given that Article 1 of the EU treaty says that in order to be a member of the European Union, you need to be bound by those treaties, under EU law, once we've concluded that withdrawal agreement, we have left the EU. We've got to remember what people actually voted for. Not what they wanted, but what they actually voted for. And that ballot paper in 2016 said, leave the European Union. And so we've got to look at what that word leave means. For example, if we leave the EU on the terms of that withdrawal agreement, have we left the EU? Yes, because that's what EU law says. If we leave the EU but continue to follow single market rules, like Norway does, even though it's not a member of the EU, have we left the EU? Yes. If we leave the EU and sign a free trade agreement like Canada has, have we left the EU? Yes. If we leave the EU but don't have any deal at all, which is no deal, have we left the EU? Yes. Now, if leave means everything from the Brexit deal we just signed to leaving with no deal at all, then leave means everything and nothing at the same time. And that's why Parliament's stuck, because it can't find the leave that every single Brexit voter actually wanted. Because those leave voters who expected a trade deal, they're not going to be happy with no deal. Those leave voters who expected no deal, they're not going to be happy with Theresa May's deal. Which means mathematically, you cannot please the 52%. I think we can all agree that if the question is leave or remain in the EU, then it's about our relationship with the EU. And in 2016, 16 million people voted to stay in the European Union. That is a relationship between the UK and the rest of the EU, which is defined by two international treaties, decades of legislation, and fixed in place by the European Union Act of 2011, which says that in order to transfer any more power to the EU level, there would need to be a referendum in the UK. So 16 million people voted for something that was fixed and could not be changed without the consent of the British people. And again, I know how this sounds, but it is simply a fact. When you voted leave, you voted for some other relationship. Because if leave can mean Theresa May's deal and no deal and everything in between, the only rational way of interpreting the word leave is some other relationship. Now, if there was any evidence to support the idea that all 17 million people all wanted the same alternate relationship with the EU, then there would be a mandate to leave the EU, to give up the one we currently have. But for now, there just isn't. However, given that our current relationship with the rest of the EU only has a 48% approval rating based on the 2016 referendum, there is a mandate to find out if there is an alternative, specific, detailed, and long-term relationship with the EU, which the British people is more in favor of than our current relationship with the EU. And in that context, the only logical solution is a referendum between our membership of the EU and the deal we just spent two years negotiating. Or we could just leave it to the politicians because they've been doing such a bang-up job.